When we signed up to do the walk again, which of course we would, it's our biggest fundraiser for the table, mm -hmm. um, we had no idea how it was going to be and what it was going to look like um, during this time. Um, but it has far exceeded our ex expectations. Um, the support has been beautiful. Like the community has just come together again. Mm -hmm. More people this year are walking with us. We're at 122 walkers, um, 25 teams, um, and that will keep growing. Well, right before you turn on this camera here, we looked and we're at 121% raise, so almost 55 thousand dollars our goal was forty five thousand and we have just hit that out of the snow bag whatever it is um, and yeah we're able to actually raise funds until march 31st so we'll see how far we go it's so exciting and that's what it's all about is just you know acknowledging that there are people who are hungry hurting and homeless in our own community um, they need our support they need us to uh, you know to recognize them and as people First, I want to give a big thank you to the members of the Gravenhurst community whose heart was so huge this past weekend and past week. I saw so many pictures of them out on trails, whether they were hiking, snowshoeing, walking, or skiing even, just to raise money to reach out to those people in our community who are in need. And our goal was $50,000 for coldest night of the year, and we have exceeded that by multiple thousands. Our goal, right now we have reached uh, over $88,000 has been raised for coldest night of the year. And money still, still comes in after the coldest night of the year. Some people are just getting their checks and their cash in at this point and will probably exceed $90,000, which is just amazing. We can't believe it. The money is coming from the people, not only in this community, but from their friends and their relatives who live outside of Gravenhurst. So we're not tapping the people just in this community, but whether it's people's uncles, their nephews, their nieces, their grandmothers, whoever, they're all participating and donating towards this cause and we appreciate it so much. And that money is going to be go going into our programs, whether it's food security, transportation, or our wellness programs. We're just so thrilled with Gravenhurst and the spirit and enthusiasm that they have shown for this fundraiser. They wanted to be a part of this and to help those people in this community who are hurting. And it's so wonderful to see that heart towards those people.